Hello, hello, hello. Welcome and welcome back to Nita Price Plant Paradise. This is the place to come to take the time to exhale and enjoy nature's beautiful creations. Well, on today's episode or segment, I will be visiting for the first time tropical plant plants pop up. Yes, y'all, and this is what I was seeing on my way walking to where they were located. It is, and I'm going to get ready to tell you about where I am. I was having such fun with all those petals <laughs> and looking at the beautiful plants, you know, that some people had, but this one really, it, it really pulled me. This, this cactus here, it was so beautiful. It was huge. Now, I hope everyone is well and doing well in whatever part of the world they're in today. Yes, it's at the Peabody Plant Pop-Up. That's where Tropicals plants had popped up at. Exactly in the Peabody Brewery House. So as you can see, I'm entering in. You're going to see a couple little clips of the place. Before I actually begin to get in line but I'm just showing you what the brewery looks like and it is in Baltimore Maryland so you could always look it up it's the Peabody Brewery House now see oh it says Peabody Heights Brewery my apologies there we are that's what I came to go to see was the tropicals plants and I would like to thank my friend, my good friend JJ, for being my camera lady. <laughs> she was helping me out. She was there with me. And she said, I'll, I'll hold the camera needed. So she was taking some pictures of me and I, as I was looking at some of the plants. And I was trying to decide which one did I want to buy. So as they said, we were not disappointed. Tropicals knows how to bring it. You hear me? That was a beautiful one. I think that's crystallinum, but I didn't want that one. That one is the Antheria, I mean Antherium beachii. And I can't remember what this one is. It's like you would have to stop the video and blow it up a little bit more <laughs> to see what it is. And I believe... Um, it's just some of the things that I was just checking out, y'all. And she was getting me, you know, if that's a uh, Heliconia um, Belligera, <laughs> the other one was. And I believe that is, what are they called? Lord, I can't even remember. Half the stuff that I looked at. I started to get this one, too. And that's Aaron that's helping me. He's I'm talking to him about the plant. And that's his mother in the background near the wall that's in the light color shirt. There they are together. So they were both um, with Tropicals. And I didn't catch her name. I'm so sorry, Aaron's mom. I didn't get your name. But that was Aaron that was helping me. He was such a sweetheart. He was holding my plants. <laughs> I thought maybe he was going to lay them down somewhere in the back where he was. But he was standing there just as nice holding them. As you can see, and not, you can't tell that really good, but as you can see, he is holding them. And as I said, the plants were beautiful. They seemed like they ship well, the Villanorum. And I started to get that one, but mm, like I said, I really didn't bother with some of them. Because some of them, I think it requires a lot of humidity, and y'all know, it mm -mm, doesn't work. Well, these are the two that I got. Yes, that is the, I'll put them down at the bottom because <laughs> the video is kind of rolling a little bit fast. So I'm going to let you enjoy watching the rest of the footage and it's just showing the beautiful plants the Tropicals brought with them so that we could buy. It was really nice but, and the pricing was very affordable. So I was very, very happy about that. It was very, very affordable. Look at the vibrancy of that green. Look how 
deep green that was. It, I'm telling you, it was beautiful. And it was in the package looking like that. so excited because I said I've been begging Gilberto to please do a pop-up and now that he has finally done it I had to go so I definitely was there I had to show up Gilberto thank you so much for bringing it to the D what we call the DMV area and DMV stands for not Department of Motor Vehicle everyone because trust me I thought that too when I first heard people always saying, I kept saying, why do they keep talking about the Department of Motor Vehicle? No, it means D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. So if you ever hear anyone say DMV area, that's what it stands for. <clears throat> and this was in Baltimore. And from my understanding, please don't quote me on it, but some of the people that are from this area, we ask what was the section name of this neighborhood and they said it was in the Waverly section isn't that gorgeous look at that oh I'm telling y'all it was gorgeous the plants were gorgeous it's like you just couldn't get enough that's the regal shield I believe Just gorgeous. And by the time we got there, which was, we weren't that far from them opening up, like starting out everything. But people had come through already. <laughs> and some of the plants were gone. I should have really zoomed in. There's that beach yard, y'all. Y'all know I love that beach yard. Mm. But I tell you, I was shocked. We were like, where, the, where are all the plants? <laughs> people had come through. I tell you, we plant lovers don't play. And then as I was out, you'll see, I'll take more other pictures of the Peabody plant pop up uh, that's outside. People saw me with my plants. They said, where did you get those from? Because they had never seen anything like it before. I said, they're inside that building, the Peabody Brewery. And they, uh, they were on their way. So Gilberto, hopefully you got some more sales. And by the way, everyone, this is not a paid promotion, nor am I being sponsored by Tropical Plants. This happens to be a place that I do shop at. I have been probably for over the last year, over a little over a year, when I bought my first plant from them. And they are located in Ecuador, in South America. You all know I love this plant. But me and this plant cannot live together. At least not in this house. That war rock Rihanna, I tell you, she's gorgeous. She is gorgeous. But I just, I cannot, I can't, I can't live with her. Not in here. Because she just passed out. She has conniptive fits, falling out, you name it. But she did not last long with me at all. I was really disappointed because I had gotten her for a really good deal. I think it was like $60. They had a really good deal. And I had got one of the really big ones. Honey, she was gone. Then she ended up getting mold. That's a whole nother story. That's in another video. Mm-mm-mm. I don't even want to talk about it. It's heartbreaking. It really is. 
But as you can see, I had to show y'all some footage of her. She's gorgeous. I mean, if I could just get my house to have that, not the whole house, y'all, but you know that room, hot. I will get me a war rock. I will. That's the nickname I have it. Here's the beachy eye again. I think it was a baby. See, he told y'all Aaron was holding my plants. He was holding my plants. <laughs> he was a sweetheart. And I really thank you, Aaron, for that. Because like I said, I thought he was going to put it on the boxes back there or someplace. I, I was like, you didn't have to hold it, hold it. <laughs> he said, no, it's fine. He was so nice, I tell you. Y'all, I really love my tropicals. And Gilberto, you have a really wonderful group of people that you work with. And I'm so glad. Y'all are just so humble and just so helpful. And I appreciate that. Because even when things go wrong, you still straighten it out. And you do it in a very respectful, professional manner. I want to say that was like a Vici, a Vici eye type of some sort. I don't think that was, you know how they say the fake Vici or something like that. I don't think that was the pure Vici eye, if memory serves me, because I believe it was AFF. See, and then I'm switching off my plant. I said, I don't want that. I think I want this. Y'all, I changed my plans up a couple of times. I said, I'll take this one back. But I looked at that one and it was smaller. And I, But like I said, I could be wrong. It may not have been the, that may have been the pure one as well. Y'all, that was a gorgeous plant. I started to get that, but I said, no. As you can see, I picked it up. It looks like several times. Oh, then I'm going to pick up some other things that I could not believe I was holding in my hand. Yes, I was holding it. And I think these were some Maranas. And I have a Marana already, y'all. I won't even say. <laughs> I won't even. She's in the struggle, okay? That's all I have to say. She's in a struggle. A major struggle. She's still alive, I think. And that's a politiform, uh, fo folium, I'm sorry. Politifolium, I believe. No, that's the Marana. I'm sorry, my apologies. That's the Marana. I believe the other one was the Politifolium. I think I do show the names. I try to show you all the names, but I was getting a glare, so I couldn't even tell whether y'all were seeing it. And then I looked at it, and I said, oh my goodness, you were seeing it. That's a, a baby war rock. I'm telling you, I would love to have her. I would really love to have her, but it's not going to work. Now, I believe that's a politifolium. For, I mean, for, folium. Politifol. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I can't even remember the names of the doggone plants no more. But this was last Saturday. This past Saturday. See, that's that crystal line. Oh, that was beautiful. I was basically trying to show y'all all of the plants, but some of them were the same, so I think I kind of skipped over a few. That way you're not looking at the same exact plant. It's another war rock baby there. I'm just calling them babies, y'all. That's just what I'm calling them. They may be something else. See, that's another baby. But I call them babies. That could be like a seedling, I guess. But... I just wanted y'all to see the beauty of them.
I think here I'm talking to Aaron about something. Oh, I think I was asking him about the plants that's behind him. See them on the shelf? I, I believe I was having a conversation with him about that. Because I looked up and I saw them. And I was like, what is that up there? Because I was curious. They were in containers. And he was letting me know that they, they were in the struggle. <laughs> I'll say that. And that's the polyphorium, y'all. But um, he said they were in the struggle and they were not thinking about selling them. I said, look, you got plant whispers here. You better, you better sell that. Ask somebody, say, look, this is an as is. Okay? And you have some people think, I have a sister, you all. I, and y'all know I've spoken about this before. She's like a plant whisperer. She can bring that bad boy back to life. Y'all, I couldn't believe what I was looking at. Look at when I pan to the name of this plant. This is the Kuna Yalensis. Yes, that plant right there. I would have gotten it, but I didn't want to get it because of the fact that you have to keep it misty and it has to be hot. And I didn't want to get a plant that I know I do not have those conditions. I think I would get one of those, you know, with those waters and the water comes down. But I would have to be home. I'm not going to have that on all day. And they said, from my understanding, that it has to have a waterfall or someplace that's misty. And yes, I have a humidifier, but no, that's not good enough as far as I'm concerned. Because why? I still cannot get the humidity. So it doesn't make sense for me to buy. I couldn't believe I was holding it in my hand. That was one of my favorite plants I've always wanted. But I am not going to buy it because I know. Like as they say, when you know better, you do better. <laughs> and that's what I'm trying to do on my plant journey. Because you all, I would have, mm, I just could not bring it home. I said, no, she's just going to die right away. But they were gorgeous. And I just had to show you, <gasps> look at this. Y'all, that caught my eye. Y'all know what the one that is. That is the poppy. Yes, look how gorgeous it was gorgeous but I said no I'm not gonna do it I put her back but I had to show y'all what she looked like and most of those were kunas see that oh and there's this dresslery there were there were some dresslerys uh there I think I do pan back I think I look at it is that one oh no that one there is I thought I put it more in frame okay there it is. I can't pronounce that. Yep. Teropus. Philodendra teropus. I don't know what, how to pronounce it. I think that's the Dresslery. They were gorgeous. See? Very pretty. And I think that's how you, they probably would survive if I left it in a container like that. Which means they're not going to grow big. I want them to grow big. And these are the plants that I bought that's coming up. This is my cactus. I call it Kaki. K-H-A-K-I. Kaki the cactus. And I bought this from another uh, vendor that was there. And as you can see, there is my Heliconia Valerigera. <laughs> and y'all, all my leaves on it have died. There's a new leaf that is coming up. Don't ask me why. I don't know. And then there's my baby. It's my dark um, regals. Uh, it's, I believe it's the regal dark. So that is all for now. I want to thank you all for watching. Please stay safe and God bless.